And a lot of reasons why people might not have as much magnesium in their bodies as they would for to function as well as they want, right? So like, it seems like a setup for a good idea. The taking sure. magnesium might be a great idea. So here's the problem. There are probably around 20 studies looking at magnesium supplementation for sleep in adults. About seven or eight of these studies were fairly compelling. They were in elderly people and they showed that magnesium helped with sleep onset latency, which is time to fall asleep, nighttime awakenings, and total time sleeping. There was one study from 2002 where they actually gave elderly adults magnesium and they had more slow wave sleep. Mm. Ask me how many studies of magnesium in kids have been performed. How many studies of magnesium in kids have been performed? One that was in infants in the NICU, and this was really giving them as part of their yeah. food, and it showed that they had more quiet sleep, which is the analogous thing to slow right. wave sleep versus active sleep. It was like 15 infants. There have been studies that looked at this indirectly, specifically kids with ADHD or autism, where magnesium has helped with daytime functioning, but those authors didn't look at sleep. Hmm. So it's hard to recommend magnesium in children where we don't have any evidence that really helps with sleep. So we have a situation which I would say has biological plausibility, right? A lot of people don't have enough magnesium. And that likely includes children as well. That low magnesium can be associated with sleep problems and having enough magnesium helps with sleep. But we haven't made that final step to say giving magnesium seems to help with sleep. 